Talking about the BBC, something new, eh? <laughs> Lo and behold, though, the BBC's news night suddenly had an epiphany. They confessed that they could have done better on impartiality during a panel packed with hysterical hyenas calling for GB News to be shut down. It's akin to a football referee owning up to a dodgy call after his own lad nets the winning goal, right? You're a day and a pound short, BBC. And what's next? A heartfelt apology for allegedly sending a car for Russell Brand's nocturnal adventures with a teenager. And let's not even start on your cinematic rerun of Jimmy Savile, a veritable monument to your own sordid history. But still, they think the BBC think they can lecture everybody else. Adam Bolton, formerly of Sly News, was on the Beeb calling for us to be shut down. Could it be that angry Adam is a bit miffed GB News is soaring, rocketing up by 500% according to Press Gazette? And I'm not gloating, all right, maybe I'm gloating a smidgen, <laughs> but could it be that shutting down a successful competitor may well suit the man? And let's have a moment for Caroline Noakes, an MP so obsessed with trans self-ID that she's clearly choosing to self-ID as a Tory MP, despite being a Lib Dem. She told the BBC she doesn't appear on GB News, despite appearing nine times. Nine times. Maybe she doesn't know what a woman is because she's suffering some form of memory loss. Who knows? The truth is that the wrinkled old elite of broadcasting would throw a bloody street party if GB News folded. But here is the kicker. First, they ignored us. Then they ridiculed us. Now they're going after us with pitchforks because we're winning. Thanks to you, the British people. You aren't letting these upper crust snobs dictate your news diet. They tried to shove us aside like they did with our Brexit vote. But we're not going anyway. So get used to it and frankly, bring it on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I mean, it's been quite the week, Emily. I'm sure you'd agree you've been on the telly more than the adverts. <laughs> <laughs> it has been quite the week. And we're talking about the BBC here. And I found it quite astounding, actually, the lack of balance on that BBC Newsnight panel. It seemed to be their leading story, yet they couldn't find someone who would be on the side of a free press. It was quite extraordinary. Yeah. We know we are off, off, off com regulated. Every broadcaster is in this country. And for someone like Adam Bolton, who I used to have a huge amount of respect for, can come out and say that it should be shut down. And then he said the same thing on another broadcaster too. And I'm just scratching my head here because I thought no one was watching GB News. So um, why are they so bothered? Indeed. I mean, Diane, did you think, hang on a minute, Adam, you've gone way too far. BBC News tonight, you've gone way too far. I mean, I've seen more balance on a Chinese Communist Party <laughs> assembly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, the BBC's always been like this, though. I don't know the amount of time. You see, I do a lot of driving as a comic. And the amount of times so I'm sat in the car and the news comes on and I'm yelling at the radio that's not news that's mm. the BBC internal email like the, recently the top story on Radio 4 was about oh now thanks to the Gary Lineker debacle we've sent this thing round and it's like no that's an internal email darling that's not the news <laughs> Diane why are you listening to GB News Radio <laughs> because my, I've got an old car right. so I, I haven't got DAB radio <laughs> I'm in a Nissan Micro if I want to overtake Take anyone, I have to book it in and send them an email. <laughs> it's true, actually, the car I drive doesn't have DAB radio. I need to get an upgrade. Yeah, need to get, need to get an need upgrade. To get an EV. Yeah, need to get an EV. No. That's the only thing that's going to be allowed in London anyway soon. So, uh, yes, EV next with a DAB radio so I can watch GBN radio every single moment of the day. But I mean, Alby, you're someone who has enjoyed being on BBC panels in the past, right? You are someone a bit more sympathetic, I think, about the BBC too old the BBC mm. than maybe the rest of us are but you must have been watching it even you I'll be that's why the beam. that's why I was so disappointed with the BBC news and light panel because I think what people love and cherish about the BBC is that balance when it does work it doesn't always work Diane you're totally right to point out that there are times that the BBC is not impartial and they displayed that on Newsnight earlier on this week with with Adam Bolton Caroline Noakes and whoever the third person was I mean how they couldn't I find must just come in to say that the to... BBC sorry to interrupt but yeah. the BBC has said that they did try to get some balance well they didn't call me they didn't but they call did me. 
they, they've got our numbers. But they did admit that they didn't try hard enough. Well, yeah, well, they clearly didn't try very hard at all. I well, mean, they didn't. You know. they, they have... Emily and I appear on BBC shows. It would not have been hard from a, for a producer from the BBC to call someone from GB News, like Good Morning Britain did, to go on that show and give the other side of the argument, and they didn't do that. Lewis, on a broadly... On a philosophical point, I guess, do you think, is it troubling for you, as someone that I assume believes in press freedom, mm -hmm. that you see the state broadcaster with a massive monopoly backed by the licence fee calling for what is essentially media censorship? Oh, yeah, I think it is. And I think that what the BBC struggles with that you guys at GB News have, have really got down is having the conversations that people are having up and down the country in their living rooms. Whenever I've been invited onto the BBC, whenever I pitch something that is a news topic to go on, I've always found it's, it's all for a, a, a specific kind of London bubble lens that doesn't really resonate. And I think that that is probably their issue is that Look, there are some discussions that go on on this channel that I don't agree with, but that's why we have the discussions, right? Whereas I think on the BBC, they just wouldn't have the discussion at all. And it's not representative of what is being said yeah. up and down the country. What, what I don't understand is how they don't have any self-awareness or don't appear to have much self-awareness. This is a channel that's been around for, what, two years. Mm -hmm. um, if you just decided based on one unfortunate incident to shut down a broadcaster, then we wouldn't have a broadcasting landscape or a broadcasting ecology, as Adam <laughs> Bolton said. So it's just absolute nonsense. And I'm sorry, but this channel stands for free speech within, obviously, Ofcom regulation, because that's what has to happen in this country. Um, and we should respect that and also respect people's right to, to speak. You see, what I found hypocritical particular about Adam Bolton is that he talks about this broadcast ecology, as he put it, as a current Times radio presenter, mm. which is a new media organisation, <clears throat> as a former Sky News presenter, which was a new media organisation yeah. back in the noughties. You know, he is a product of new media organisations, yeah, so why exactly. is he calling for a new media organisation to be shut down so we don't get the opportunities that he has? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because, essentially, Aaron, uh, Aaron Adam Bolton is a snob, in my opinion. Mm. I think it, it, the man smacks of pomposity and actually he looks down at the likes of GB News and the people who are watching it. Yeah, um, of course, of course, a lot of people enjoy Adam Bolton, have enjoyed him over the years, have respected well, him over the years. I do if you judge him by his viewing figures. <laughs> I mean, he'd probably get more of a bloody children's picnic. Look, I've been interviewed by Adam before, and I had he was perfectly nice to me. And I, I listened to his Times radio show occasionally, but I think the way that he has spoken about GB News this week has been really disappointing. It's just been so over the top. Yeah. They're absolutely ludicrously Why? over the top. Why? Is it fear? And Are they scared? It, well, I think that it is. I think they thought GB News would be around for maybe a year. It wouldn't get any viewers because there's so many other programmes that people can tune into, so many other broadcasters. It will be a flop. And it hasn't been. Mm -hmm. but, and it's a, it's a proper competitor. What I think that these people forget as well when they're shrieking and hollering is that there's a whole huge fleet of people behind us. Mm -hmm. We are not, like us five here. We need that whole huge room of people that the viewers can't see. And their jobs are here as well. And they don't agree with everything that's said on the channel. And just because a, a few things are said that are wrong and yes, Ofcom should investigate because that's what Ofcom are there for. But that doesn't mean that you should suddenly shut down an entire channel that's trying to bring balance to this yeah. landscape. I, mean, I also think for Adam, you know, if, if, they, if he has his way, his viewers aren't going to go to, the, our viewers aren't going to go to him anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> in, in, so stay with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>